Okay, so now um, I'm going to have an activity for you really quick. Um, and then I would love for you to also share it on Flipgrid. So first you're going to need paper and just either a pencil or you can color if you feel like decorating it a little bit. So you can have paper and colors or you can use a notebook. So I just have a notebook here. Okay, so grab that. You can pause if you need to. Once you have your paper and just something to write with or draw, then you want to divide it down the middle right there. Okay, sorry, you can't really see my line very good. Okay, down the middle. And then we're going to write mirror and window. Okay, so just like the video, that was Grace Lynn who was talking. She's an author. Mirror. Okay, M I R R O R, and then window. Okay, W I N D. Sorry, it's hard to see. D O W. Okay, so you have mirror and window. Then you're going to draw and think. You can take some time to think about it. Um, one book that you remember reading like in your life, it could be a book that you read with your family or with your teacher or that your teacher read to you or a book that you read all by yourself, any kind of book that you saw yourself like, oh, that person. So just draw the book and then put the title on it. You can kind of draw a little picture, whatever you remember from the book, just a small picture. What was a book that you remember that kind of either looked like you or you were feeling like, oh, that's just like me. So it didn't have to be the same, you know, race or um, come from the same place as you, but it can be, oh, I really connected with that person. But if they look like you, you know, that's a real, really a mirror, like, oh, it, that looks almost the same. So my mirror book, my example is the book called Matilda. And in Matilda, she is a kid and she's a white girl with like brown hair. And then she um, reads a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of books. <laughs> um, that's one of the main things that she does in the book. Um, and she actually has magical powers too, which is so cool. But I don't have magical powers. It's a fantasy story. Um, I just, I connected with her a lot because I was like, oh, she's kind of like me. She loves books and um, she goes to the library all the time. And I love the book Matilda. And then, so the other one, your window is a book, if you can remember, what is a book that you've read before, or someone read it to you, that you saw somebody who did not look like you, or who had a different life. And so my book, I'm going to use Hair Love. And so for this one, it would be here, this one's Matilda. And I would draw a picture too but I'm just gonna show you my example. Um, and then this one for me is hair love because I'm not black, but I learned actually about hair a little bit more because I never knew about all of the things you can put in your hair and how you can brush it. And then also um, the experience that in hair love, the little girl had with her mom too um, and having no hair. And I've like, I'm like, I don't, know anybody um I did know people with no hair or who went through that too but now I can see it in a book so it's like a window like I'm seeing someone else so I can have more empathy and feelings like understand how they're feeling so write a book that somebody is maybe different from you that's a window for you okay um, and we're all going to have different mirrors and windows. Every person in our group is going to have different mirrors and different windows. But like Grace Lynn said, it's so important to have both, right? You want to see yourself in books and you want to see so many other people so you can understand the world around you. So then take this paper and on the next slide, there's a link to the Flipgrid where you can just share it and tell me what it is, okay? On your own little one minute video. All right.